Hey there guys, I told you in the last travel trailer project video that that was not going to be the last trailer oriented video and right now I am delivering on that promise. Uh, although this is not a travel trailer, you can see it is a horse trailer. I got it for Marley's Mustang project and it is far from ideal uh, but the price was right and I just need to do a few little repairs and make one slightly big modification. And that's what I'm going to do in this video. Uh, as it stands right now, this trailer is in pretty good shape. It just needs some new tires because the tires are old. I'll probably change the bearings, uh, repair or replace some of the lights, maybe add some of my favorite gray paint. Um, but really the biggest thing in this video is that I want to remove the divider that is right there where those little half doors latch to. Uh, because uh, number one, we just don't want the divider in there. Um, the trailers that uh, we have been practicing with our uh, Marley's Mustang loading onto don't have a divider and there just seems to be a lot of issues with that. So I want to take that out for that reason, but also for the reason of me being able to put a water tank in there. Uh, you guys know I harvest about 90% of our water needs from the rain, but there is a portion of the year that we do haul a little bit of water and it would be nice to be able to haul it in a trailer, a double axle trailer like this. So let me just give you some clips of the trailer and then we will get to building this new door and doing whatever else. So you just saw how that new half door frame sits in between these existing hinge points. And my original plan was to use the little cutoff pieces from the uh, little half doors that were on there as they fit right in there. And then I was just gonna weld them to that frame. But I started noticing that these existing hinge points are pretty badly misaligned. So I think I'm just gonna cut those off and use some existing barrel hinges that I already had on hand. It's the same concept, they just fit inside there. You weld one side of the trailer and the other side to the door and uh, you'll see how it works in just a second.
So you just saw me add this little homemade latch right in the middle, utilizing one of the existing handles from the old half doors. And I just kind of made a little angled piece. So when this comes over, it kind of clamps the door down and it can't open. And you may also notice that I added a piece here and here, and those correspond with the existing hinge points from the uh, existing or the old doors. And what I plan to do, this is just an example, is have some long uh, trailer hitch pins that will just slide there as locks, one up there and one down there. As well as this, this will latch around a little hook that I will add once I get this uh, sheeted. So anyway, that's what that is. I'll give you a couple of clips uh, up closer. Well, that took about an hour of my time, but I definitely think it was a worthwhile investment. These cushions came off of that center divider that you saw me remove at the beginning of the video. It was attached to the center post, and uh, the cushions on there are in great shape. The plywood looked good, but you could see the existing cushions that I replaced. Uh, the plywood was all rotting, and the uh, vinyl was kind of tearing out. 
So I'm pretty happy with this. It just cost me the price of maybe about 12 or 14 rivets. And uh, now I will move on to the next phase. So I think I just showed you a clip of installing one of the trailer running lights onto the outside of the fender, but I didn't show how I wire those lights into the trailer wiring. And the process is pretty simple. Um, usually for trailer lights, there's gonna be one ground wire that goes to the steel of the trailer. Uh, but in this case, those lights are ground simply with the rivets that I used to mount them because there's a little contact that goes through the mounting hole. Uh, so basically all there's left to do is connect the hot wires. And for this, I simply just use a wire stripper, strip off about a quarter inch of the wire. And then I use a butt connector. In this case, this is a heat shrink one. And I simply connect it. Use a crimper. I usually crimp twice. And if I'm not going to be using a heat shrink one, I'll just add a little piece of heat shrink tubing. So I'll show you this one first. All right, guys, well, I think that is going to conclude this trailer refurbishing project, at least for the time being. Uh, hopefully you guys who love my use of aluminum will be pleased with the uh, diamond plate I added on that door. I'm not totally sold on it. I think I would have preferred to have the uh, white painted aluminum that I used on my travel trailer project. 
but I just simply did not have enough of that and I didn't want to have to buy a full brand new sheet of that because it's pretty expensive. Um, and I had a big chunk of these, uh, this aluminum diamond plate and it only cost me $30 to get a comparable size chunk from Industrial Metal Supply out of their scrap room. So this was essentially the cheaper option. But also, uh, if somebody's driving behind us with their <laughs> lights on uh, bright, uh, hopefully that'll serve as a little bit of mitigation. Um, but uh, as for this project, uh, one thing I do want to note is I mentioned I was going to do the tires or get new tires and change the bearings on this and you can probably see that they are still the same ones. Um, and the reason for that is because when I started uh, calling into town to look for tires, all the tire shops had uh, plenty of the very expensive tires and I'm looking for not the cheapest but definitely like a mid-grade and they would have two or three so i think what i'm going to do is i'll just order some from like costco or discount tire and uh whenever i get them in maybe i'll make a separate video and maybe uh, show marley how to change tires or change bearings something like that uh, give her some skills and uh i think that's it um i think the other things that i might not have touched on in the video so much is all of the lights had to be changed and the whole wiring harness on the front um, when I originally uh, got this, one of the brake lights worked and none of the running lights and I figured, ah, it's just maybe some, you know, bad grounding issues. Well, pretty much all of the lights were, <laughs> were bad. So anyway, I got all new ones, um, all of the running lights and side lights. Uh, those are all Harbor Freight specials and they were cheap and they are working really nicely. And, uh, hmm, I don't know what else I was going to cover, but, uh, oh yeah, uh, the, uh, biggest portion of this project which was taking out that center divider um, as you can see it will serve obviously as a horse trailer but it will also serve as a water trailer so I can put that IBC tote in there for the dry times of the year which are right now uh, before monsoon season um, so the occasional times that we do haul water I'll have that as an option um, and then for those of you who want to know uh, videos that are upcoming because I know I've had a little bit of a drought here uh, if you look behind me some of you may realize there's my rain tanks the tan one is the rain tank the other tanks are the clean tanks and I used to have a pump house right there and I tore it down and I extended the, the concrete slab because I'm gonna build a bigger one reroute all of the piping uh, so that I can incorporate a water filter system and then uh, another video that will be pertinent to rainwater harvesting is going to be a, an IBC tote rainwater harvesting system bound off of the uh, horse barn. Uh, kind of very similar to the goat project that I did a while back. I'll have a first flush um, and I will show uh, connecting all that, uh, which I didn't show uh, all of that in the goat one. But anyway, it'd be the same concept, but it'll be double size. So. As always, I appreciate you guys watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like this. Uh, if you want to check me out on Rumble or Odyssey, watch on different platforms, definitely do so. And uh, as always, I appreciate you guys watching, and I will see you next time.